Hi, I'm Randy Van Dynan, and I want to talk to you about a technique I use all the time in both travel and architectural photography. I get asked a lot, how come my images don't have any people in it or any tourists? And the easy answer is, I take them out. You go to a lot of these places, unless you're there really early in the morning, and that would be one of my first travel tips. Get up early in the morning when there's no tourists and no one's there and you'll be able to shoot it without a lot of people being in your shots. But if you can't do that, this is a technique I use all the time. I will shoot multiple exposures and then go ahead and take the people out. Now there's a couple ways of doing it. I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you the way that I use and that I found works the best. So let's get going with that. Um, the first thing we have here is three images oops, of the um, National Museum in Prague. And you can see there's people all over and I want to take them out. And if you wait a few minutes, usually, you know, photograph it, give yourself 30 minutes, I mean, not 30 minutes, 30 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, something like that. People will move around enough that if you take another exposure, you'll be able to go ahead and then blend them together like this. So here are the three images. And what I'm going to do, let me go back to grid mode here and select all three. And then come up here and just say edit in Photoshop. What this will do is open all three images in Photoshop, but not as layers. And that's very important to do for, to, for what we're going to do now. So here's our images. Let's take them and we'll grab this one here. Oops, don't want to do that. And bring it down. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to File, Scripts, Statistics. And now this normally when you do it will be on mean. We're not going to do that. We are going to actually set it to medium. And then what I want to do is click this button here. Add open files. And you can select these three, you know, it'll select the files that you have opened up. What I want to do next is on most of the time I'm on a tripod and this one right here, I'm actually using a platypod because you can't use a tripod there, but it does tend to move just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and click attempt to um, align, align the source images and just click OK. And what it's going to do is take all those images, do a whole lot of math, and then put them together, and we'll see how well it does. Now you can see here, it took away a lot of people, a lot of things, but it left some ghost images in here. And, you know, now you would have to go ahead and bring those other layers in here and go ahead and... Um, paint those out. It did a pretty good job. You can see it got rid of a lot of a lot of things, but they have this here. And, you know, you this one actually worked pretty well. You could just take a couple minutes and get rid of those. Um, but for something like this and for other shots, it doesn't do quite a, quite as good a job. So what I'm going to do is I am going to close all of them and we'll get out of that. And we come back here, and I'm just going to say open all of these as uh, layers in Photoshop. This way now, these will all be opened up in Photoshop as different layers, and I can do a few th different things to it to make it um, work, uh, I think, easier and look better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, like I said, I was on a platypod, so I'm going to select all the layers right here. Come up to Edit auto align layers and just click auto and say okay now these are pretty close so it didn't take too long and it did it so next thing I want to do is see which layer I want to be my base layer this one has a bunch of people all over this one has more people all over and this one right here does a pretty good job you know we just have some people here down here, over here, back in there. So, somebody up there sneaking around. So what we're going to do is use this layer right here. I'm going to turn on the next layer. 
right here and I'm going to go ahead and hold the option key down and put a layer mask over it. So now by putting holding the option key, it makes it a black layer and so it's hiding everything. So now we're going to use a brush and have it at 100% and on white. And I'm going to come in here and take a look. We have this guards right here. So I'm just going to paint them out really quick. Uh oh, someone else was there though. So we got most of them out. I'm going to come over here, see if this person will go away. Yep, that's nice. This person here, yep, they go away. This person goes away. I think this person will too. And let's see. I have this couple over here. Let's see if they'll go away. So I'm just painting them out. I think there's a gentleman up here. He didn't go away, so we do that with the next image. And in the hallway, oop, that didn't work, so we'll use that on the next image. But I think it got most of the people out. So let's just go to our second layer. Again, let's hold the Option key and create a new layer mask. And we're going to come up here. Let's get this gentleman out of the way. Paint him out. All right, we had, I think someone's starting to show there, so I want that gone. These people here, let's get them out of the way. Oops. I got a little bit too big of a brush, so I am just going to paint that out like so. And then we still had this down here. Take this in. Make sure I'm back on white and paint that all out right there. And there we go. I have all the people out. And this is, you know, the way I do it in my commercial photography too. When I, um, I was photographing the Tampa airport, I had to go ahead and just the way I photograph it is I'll pick one section, make sure people aren't walking in there, photograph it. Pick another section, make sure no one's in that, photograph it, and just go through until I have the whole image and I know people aren't in there, and then I'll go ahead and do this trick in Photoshop. And so let me show you another one. Let's get out of here. Don't save. So we have another one. This right here is of um, uh, Milan. It is the, um, you know, the cathedral right there in Milan. It's gorgeous. And you can see by this that we have people just going through the whole time. So uh, what I do want to show you is I did do one where I used uh, the little you know, um, statistics. And this is what happened. We had all these people still in there i mean it got a lot of it out but you still are going to have to go through after all those images so what i think i'm going to do is just select all these images right here go ahead go to photo edit in and open these up as layers in photoshop and there's about 10 images or 11 images so this may take a moment to do it but this is a great way to really see how this is done with a lot of people okay you can see they're all opened up now and what we want to do is go ahead and you can see on this there let me zoom in a little bit there is a lot of people here and we want to try to get those out and so what we want to do is just kind of go through here really quick and pick a base layer to work on and I think I'm going to start to make this layer my base layer. I'm going to put that down at the bottom. And I'm going to turn off all the rest here. And we go back because I think I really like this one here. And I'm going to bra grab that one and bring it down. Put it right above. So you can see here we have a bunch of people. But if you start looking at different areas, they're not there. And that's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and put the option key down and create a layer mask. And it's filled with black by holding the option or alt key. It fills it with black. 
So now I can go in here with this image and start trying to paint out a few things. Let's come over here and see if we can get these guys out well, a little bit. Um, no, that one doesn't help us there. Does it help us there? Nope. Um, doesn't help us there, but maybe it will help us right here. So we're going to go with a little bit bigger brush and go ahead and try to take some of these people out right in front. You know, let's see. Oh, yeah. Get rid of them. That helps out a lot. We'll take care of that. So you can see how this has already got rid of a lot of people. And if you make a, make, make a mistake, just take the brush, change it to black, and try to be finesse, a little finessey with it here. Finessey, I don't even think that's a word. All right, so let's go ahead and start looking for different areas here. We need to get these people out of here. So, does that one help us there? No. But it does help us right in the center. So what we're going to do is go ahead, again, hold the Option key, make a black mask, and let's start over here. Nope. There we go. I knew there were some people that I got rid of. All right, that's looking pretty good. That got rid of quite a bit. Take what I can. Let's see. Do we get rid of these two people right here? Yes, we do. Well, that's nice. Let me get rid of any more. Oh, yeah, we can. And see, this is a little bit, you know, you just kind of go through and take a look and see what it'll get rid of. Well, that helps us out quite a bit. Okay. I think we're going to do anything right now. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit there. Nope, not there. So there we go. That's helped quite a bit. Let's do the next one. See if that'll get rid of anybody. I think it does. So let's go ahead. Hold the Option key. Come in now and... Get rid of this group of people. Doesn't help us there. Helps us a little. Helps us a little bit there. Helps us there. We'll take that. Gets rid of that person. Doesn't help us there. And we get rid of that. So you can see we're getting closer now. Now we're just worrying about this right here and this right here. So now we can take a look. Nope. Nope. Uh, this one will do it for us. This will help us. Go ahead, hold the Option key, make another mask. Get in here, take this person out. And then our last one, let's see if we can find. Take that in here, hold the Option key again, make a mask. Now it starts to get a little neck peaky. The thing is you really want to do is make sure people are moving when you do this. And if someone is standing in the place, then it doesn't work as well. But that worked out pretty well there. All right, we're 
almost have it. I think we're good, except for this right here. So now I'll just zoom in a little bit, see if there's anyone. And there we go. Bring this one down. Put a layer mask on it. And go ahead and paint this away right there. Hopefully there too. There we go. This is how I do almost all my people removing from, you know, both my travel and my architectural photography. Um, when you do it a few times, you'll get faster at it. Um, I don't think statistics works as well as doing it by manually. That's how come I like doing it that way um, most of the time. And I hope this is helpful for you. And um, please come back again and have a great day.